Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden with The Geek Group. And I'm Paul Kidwell, how you doing? We're here today at The Geek Group's Heavy Industries Labs with one of our favorite toys. Oh yes. The Air Raid Siren. Mm -hmm. We did a video a uh, few weeks ago about where we talked about how sirens work and the basics of electronic and mechanical sirens. And I mentioned, oh hey, we'll, we'll do the big Air Raid Siren in an upcoming video. Mm -hmm. The email response was impressive. Really? <laughs> They're like, oh, you got an Air Raid Siren, you got a video! So yeah, people kind of freaked out. So it's it's time. It's time. We have, we have we've had this for years, and we want to thank Jeff for donating it out at West Shore. And we've this is man, we've had this thing since two thousand five, at least. Yeah. Yeah. And it's been a favorite demo. The Cub Scouts get a real big kick out of this one because we do uh, a whole demo series on mechanical energy and how sound is actually mechanical energy. So that that that's a totally separate video. We'll get into that. But for this one, it's all about the air raid siren. And it's, it's a big, it's tornado siren. Um, and we well, painted it. We're rotating it the wrong way. It's oh, well, see, yes, it's rotation. It's got to go that, that way. way. All right. Yes, rotation. Um, but it's the motor housing here, the rotor chopper is in here, and then everything from here forward is horn. And because we're the geek group, we get to take it apart and show people how it works inside. Yes, and this thing we put back together. Again. Yes, yes. This we actually we we've this we've had this apart and this together. Isn't, uh, this isn't this isn't equipment times. autopsy. Yes, yes. So let's take it apart and show them how it works. Now, while you start taking that out, I'm going to talk about the the other stuff involved and right, how we want, made this work. You want just the hood off right now? Yeah, let's just take the hood off. Um, now the the way we've got this set up is we have a, a forklift battery. For those that, that are regular viewers of our videos, the, the little red forklift that died, um, this was the extra battery for it. When we, whenever we get a forklift, we always get two batteries with it, and we have never actually had to change a forklift battery around here, so we always use the other battery for something else. For the little red forklift, its battery is 24 volts, which works great for this. Now, these are designed to run on 72 volts DC at the massive amperages, but if you fire this up at 72 volts, it'll remove every piece of glass out of the building. It'll take the windows right out. And so, your eardrums, too. And your eardrums, yeah. Um, so we run it on only 24 volts for very short durations, and it's still loud enough to hurt you. We have to wear hearing protection with it, but it's, uh, it's, it's much easier to tame at lower voltages. So we run the forklift battery, comes through down here. We just hooked up a, uh, a basic forklift plug, and we've got a little... 12 volt power supply, little bench top power supply that we hook to a starting solenoid and we run, we wire that up. These two wires here go up into the commutators and there's, there's just a set of brushes up in there and that feeds power to the siren and that's, we, we tried to keep the whole thing as intact as we could. So everything here is pretty much stock with the exception that we disconnected the rotation drive so that we could just turn it freely. So that's that's the basics of what we did and how it works. And what, what are you doing? Uh, there's a lot of screws, and these things were. Yeah, but let's let's take these out. You said take the hood off, not the. Horn. This is the hood. That's I thought you the, meant this. No, I meant the hood. Oh, off. okay. No, let's let's take this off. Um, these are kind of stuck. I'm guessing they were put on when the paint was still wet. So I'm just going to leave the washers in place. There it is, Paul. Got my Gerber in another video. Gotta give them a phone call. <laughs> so we'll take this off. It's really under. Wanna try this? No, I'm all right. Manly fingers. Hey, I got a washer loose. Cool. All right, there's Just gonna one, two, back. three, four, five, I, th I think. Did you get your bottom one? I got the bottom one. All right. Yep, that's all of them. Well, let's, let's bring this around the front and we'll see if we can pop it off. Now, the, it looks really big, but it's actually not very heavy at all. The, most of this is, this is just fiberglass. All right, ready? And we, we got to wiggle a little. Oh, that's on there. 
It's on there good? Yeah, it's the paint. The paint. Uh, All right, hang on. I'll get a, a gentle precision instrument to help nudge it off delicately. You could get my gavel. I don't know where it is. It's packed. My gavel is missing? It's packed. The whole. Oh. Look at the set. Everything's gone. Just the signs are up there. I don't want to break the fiberglass, so I want to get a, ah, a bit of, hang on, let me get a piece of wood. Wherever will I find a little scrap piece of wood? There's only about a thousand of them right there. All right, Paul, you ready? Yep. Okay. You see it moving? Huh? Is it actually moving? Yeah. Okay, you ready? There's the hood. Okay, now this is the internal assembly. Yes, and so, there's a bunch of bolts and some of them are exceedingly rusty. Yeah, we've never had this part apart. You want to take it off? We could. We never have before. We're doing a video on it. We might as well. You want to pop them out? Oh uh, yeah, hand me that ratchet wrench over there. This one? Yep. Do we have another one that size? Doubtful. Okay. And actually, they come off fairly well, even the rusty ones. All right. Here, loosen it, then pass it over. I'll start popping these uh, ones. This one's broken right off. There, there is no bolt right here. There is no loosening, and then. Oh, it's it's a back and forth fight. This one won't break. This one's great. This one's happy. Okay, it take me. take that. I'm gonna screw this in from the back. Got it. There. There you go. Now let's take a minute and we'll look at this. Slide the hood back so we're... Here, we'll set that right on there. Now what we've got is the chopper outputs through these channels here. Yeah. And it, these are blocked off on the bottom. So these are flat. And this is just a big casting. And here's the rotor, the, the chopper. Hit the button. Okay. Move, yeah. Yeah. Move your fingers. Clear. That's really cool. That's You're getting that good, Mike. Yeah. Can you see that? Well, no. The whole, this is in the way. Okay. All right. So here we have the inside of the siren. And you can see it turns this way. And this acts as a centrifugal pump. And it sucks air in. And it blasts it out. And there are slices between each section here, the second half. So from here to here is open in the sidewall. And it's only open that far. And then it, it stops right here. So it's the same size as the hole, pretty much. And as this goes along, it, it chops the air. And these are flat spots, and these are holes. And these holes are angled, and it forces it out through. Let's grab that and show them. This acts as a megaphone, and you can see it, it comes out through here, and there's so the, the hole. Sound, sound goes in the hole. Yeah, and it comes and out, out the funnel. Yeah, it, it goes all the way through and out the other side, and there's there's your hole. All right, now the the center of the impeller lines up with the center yep. here. It comes it comes in. The impeller comes out that, and it gets a center area and it goes out the sides, and then any noise coming out here gets amplified out through the sides. There, and then there's, you've a, got, there's a gap between yep, this you've got the horn and here. So you got sound coming out through here, and as well as these. coming out through these. Though so I think the majority of the sound probably comes out through these, because the air is pushing. We've already gotten people arguing yeah, we've, about we've, that. Yeah, that's an ongoing war in the forums. So that's, that's the siren there. And uh, if you plug your ears, I'll fire this up. We can let people get a good okay. listen to it. Hold on, one broken, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, Paul? Six, seven. There are two bolts on there. You're not going to plug your ears. You ready? Go
work on the rest of these bolts here. Yeah, let's take the sides off. Now we've, we've covered the, the business end of it. Let's show them how that gets there. You aren't going to get those. I'm not? Well, you might get them slow. There's, there's no way I've got enough hand strength to be able to take these out. Well, it's that on the end. Yeah, yeah, they're, and they're really in there hard. There's, it's like I really wonder what they're screwing into. This is... Probably don't want to know. These we replaced. I, I remember that because the original holes were all stripped out. Because this thing spent 30, 40 years on top of a pole. I, I, I have no idea how old it is or anything like that. I'm sure we're going to get a lot well, of emails. Well, there's a civil defense sticker on this side. Yeah, there's one over on this side. It, it doesn't look like a civil defense sticker. Well, take a look at this one. It's got, it's, it's, it's... Yeah, it's the same thing, but it's got the weird swirly around it. You see it? It's really, yeah. it's, it's painted over, so it's hard to see, but I think that's the logo. I seem to remember this is, it's, it's not a Federal or a Whelan, it's a, a different brand. It's like a APC or something like that. I don't know. I, I can't remember, but... We've, we've had people write in and say what it is. Because there is a whole group of people that collect these as a hobby. Yes. Those if cool anybody guys. knows where a Chrysler Victory Siren oh, is. Oh, man, I want one of those for a oh, demo. Oh, yes. Yeah, uh, I want a Victory Siren. If anybody out there knows, let yeah. us know. Because we'll, we'll come and haul it away. We'll, we'll climb up to the top of a building to remove it. We'll do all the work. But we will give it a loving home. Yeah. We, we want, oh, you're doing those? Okay. See, I got most of them. I, I got skills. Okay, just block it so it don't run away from okay. me. I'm holding it. Here to help. I'm a helper, Paul. Yeah, it doesn't take much of a spin to get sound out of that. Oh, you, can, you can do it by hand. That's pretty cool. Problem is it takes so much current, I, I can't spin it with that. that that'll that output 20 amps, and I, I couldn't get this to work with it. We'll, well try no, the, it again. The thing wasn't, the, 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 the Oh yeah, I couldn't get the connect right. So we'll, we'll give it a right. shot and see if we can make it work, because if I could make this spin really slow, it'd look neat. And it'd be neat to put it back together and, and spin it really slow and see what kind of sounds you can get out of it. You got that yet? I got one more. You got one more. Did you get the whole, this side's all done? That side's all done. Okay. I like the sticker on here, it says wear ear protection. <laughs> I can only imagine how beastie this thing is at full power. Done. You good? All right. You sure? Is the paint holding it on? Yes. Yep. Okay. Hold on. You got it? Yeah. All right, there's the doghouse. Now here is the inside. It's, it's really weird looking when you take all the covers off. Because it's just, here's the motor, and then there's a gearbox here that turns, there's a, a chain down on the bottom with a sprocket that goes around there and that controls you around. And if you look in here, you can see the brushes that feed power to it. There's actually three, four... What is it, like a well, slip there's, ring? There's four, yeah, it's slip rings. Okay. So, ah, you can wait. Um, <laughs> I can't believe I left my phone. But that's, that's all there is to it. It's, it's a very high oh, you current. Just, you just removed the chain. Yeah, I just took the chain off so that you can okay. turn it. Um, let's try, if we can. Can you slide this whole thing this way a little bit? I'm going to disconnect the battery from it. Come, come this way. It's hard to believe they mount. Go away. It's hard to believe they mount this up on top of a telephone pole. Um, here, let's bring this in. Mine's a bit. set on silent. Mine's supposed to be. I had to turn it on because I was getting calls in, during the break. All right, there. We've got power oh, to well, it. Turn it. Turn it so they will. It's all the way it. down. Let's see if we can do this. Nope, trip the Almost. breaker. Yeah, I can't. It's well here. Give it, give it a little start with your hand. Yeah, turn it. Ready? Go. Keep going. Keep going. No, I, I don't have enough oomph. And that's that's 20 amps, and I can't do it. It this thing takes a huge amount of current. So no, even even like our giant 20 amp beast power supply can't can't spin that. 
which is why we run off the big battery. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So there you have it. That's everything you ever wanted to know about the Geek Group's Air Raid Siren, which is now very naked and tiny. It's kind of cool. Here, let's, let's hook this back up. Wait, wait, wait a little. minute. What's this? What'd you find? I'm looking for dates. Looking for old. Frame. Power's connected. 13MS old. Okay, that's a 60 to 1 gear reduction. Okay, well, here, plug your ears and we'll make some noise. Because this way you can see and everything going on. The main here. plate over here is just blank. It's like chrome and that. Yeah, it's, it's, I couldn't figure, I'm, I'm sure that somebody's going to write in and they'll know, like, exactly when and where this was made. It's, it's nuts. Okay, you ready? Plug your ears. Go for it. throws quite a breeze. Too. Yeah, it does. All right, that's the Geek Group's Air Raid Siren video. You guys have fun. We'll have more for you next time here at the Geek Group. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and check out www.thegeekgroup.org where you can become a member and get involved in playing with big fun science. Mm -hmm. Have fun, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.